Um, and last but not least, my absolute favorite vehicle, like ever, like this thing is. I am. I am in. Like so much work went into this. <laughs> There's a hatchback. Nice little old hatchback. We're gonna just move right along this one. It's super simple. You can just see. I wanted to build the closest to a real car as I possibly could in this game with its physics. I'm sure people could do better. Absolutely sure people could do better. It's just left hand drive. Okay, I was, I was like, is it right hand drive? I was not looking in the right place. Uh, just super simple. Nice and simple vehicle. Alright, I can't remember exactly which version of this one was the final, but this is called the Advanced Version. I don't know why I called it Troop Transport Advanced, but this is one of my- this is my second- uh, second proudest of this build right here. I've got like a bush bar, like look at this thing, man. I, I know it's not like a masterpiece or whatever, but like I actually have like um, exhaust manifolds and all that stuff. I got the whole four engine set up so it's nice and solid fast, you know that. Um, like fuel tanks you can actually refuel it's got the exhaust pipes it's got man I, I, I really went to town on this thing and this is why it's the se my second favorite vehicle uh, I kind of skipped a lot of like this is like really lame Humvee I made and I don't think you want to see that it's pretty lame now you got the bars you can hold on to for when you're walking inside or if you need to stabilize yourself we've got um, this load gate that also functions as a, as a tailgate it's actually really nice and well I'm not saying it's really nice, but I'm really proud of it. I put the, like, I, as you can see, I really focused on the details for this one. And it took some time as well, so I'm really proud it came out the way it did. Uh, wooden floors in there. <laughs> that's, that's quite an interesting design choice, but we will go with it. <laughs> and here's the driving. It is nice and fast. So you can see how much I've, how much I learned over time how to play this game and what works and what doesn't work and there's there's so much more stuff I could learn like this is probably a really basic there's someone out here looking looking at this vehicle right now and they're like I know at least 10 ways you get improved that and that's the beauty of builder games this is why I get so attached to them because I can use I can outlet my creativity in in, in an endless amount and at any time you can learn uh, even more on how to make your creations better um, now I do like limits in creativity games, but or in sorry in building games, but um, there's something really nice about just going into a game where you can build anything you want at any given time, which is absolute freedom. Like it might be it might be the slow, beautiful music that's making me feel all reminiscent right now, but uh, and and maybe how proud I am of this creation, which has doors you can open and close. I don't know what this one is. That's number two. Uh, to figure that out. It's, it's probably the interior light here. Oh no, that's the left left door which is currently jammed. Okay, that's fine. I got the good old horn. Gotta have the horn. And the headlights. Uh, set up here. So, uh, man, I just really do like this one. But, like I said, it's my second favorite creation. I, I still do have a couple of things left to do. This is episode two? I believe, I think this is two, it would make sense with the whole time, with the time I'm doing right now, um, time I'm running at right now, but like I said, this is my second favorite creation, and we have two more to look at before I finally show you, three more to look at, just quick ones here, before I finally show you my favorite. This is my first big vehicle. I think this is my first big vehicle ever. It's a delivery truck. Long and short, it's a delivery truck. Still didn't know how to do the suspension. Look how insane that is. I do that just to make it work because I didn't know you could actually adjust the suspension, but it's such an easy thing to do. This is actually upgraded, so I went into this and, and changed it again. I, I clearly didn't have the heart to change the, the classic suspension system or fix the lag issues I'm currently having, but but uh, this is another one that's very dear to my heart. This thing is insane. Look at that. It goes so fast. It just feels good, and I immediately got it stuck. You can actually stuff the back here with the produce boxes they, they give you, and it's just just a, a nice, cool little machine. Next, we got this little offload up the offload laser offload ra racer up. Da, da, da. We got this offload racer up here in. Um, in this super simple it, it, it it's off a frame that I really enjoy like the the, the truck front <coughs> sorry about that um, the truck front with the like the utility ripped up rear I like that and oh ooh, I like this part too hang on okay 
engine engine repair, maintenance access, or whatever right there. Just nice and simple in the back. That is super cool, in my opinion. I like that a lot. There's something, something to do with this, too. No, no, it's on the different version. This is, uh, oh, yes. Okay, I remember the thing with this one, too. So let's just get in. So the thing with this one is, where is it? We got, so this should be the left door, yep. This has got pop-up headlights. Look at that. You can turn them on, too. <laughs> That's probably more useful if I do that. So, I was just experimenting with, with pop-up headlights, so that's why the engine is in the back. I remember that now. I think I did that with the object, too. Um, this is a very cool vehicle. For, for, for a, a vehicle I'm very proud of. Um, right here. Just wanted to kind of scroll through here. I just found this go-kart that I built a while ago. This is a cool little thing right here. Um, got the guards on the wheels and stuff like that. I won't drive it because it doesn't really turn. But, but you can basically see the concept of what I tried here. Probably extend those, those buffers a little bit so I can actually steer. Little drag racing concept. My first attempt at a at a realistic looking car did not go so well. Um, at least I had fun. And it's got that wacky suspension going on again because I, I didn't know how to do that stuff. And here's that Humvee I was talking about that's... A little, a little lame, a little basic. Like it's, it's, it's kind of cool. You really do get stuck in that, and it flips over easy. But it's, it's super fun to drive. Realistically, despite the fact that I'm talking about how hard it is to drive, I have a working NASA rocket, which I will show you this episode. I think I showed you the rocket bus last episode. That would make the most sense. Um, and last but not least, my absolute favorite vehicle. Like ever, like this thing is. I am. I am in. Like so much work went into this, and I think you can only really use it on a flat surface. It is not loading. This is the to be named. Probably going to be called something like the Leviathan or just some ridiculous name like that. Look at this thing. And the best news is, it works properly. I think. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of lag. I thought I, I never knew it actually would lag like this. Um, thank you, Vigi Games. But this is it right here. The difference between the last invention I showed you and the Leviathan, which I think I'll actually it's actually the name that's gonna stick right here. Look how many tires are on this thing. This is because I mean, you can, you can tell what it's for, it's because it's easily bottoms out. I knew how to adjust suspension at this point, I spent a lot of time adjusting the suspension, and I'm really proud with the results, um, but it's, 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 it needed so many tires and, and, and just enough lag like this so that it would not bottom out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, giant mechanical vehicle. It's bad. Watch this door close. Premium. That is premium. A little cut in the floor here. It's slow enough so it, it looks like you could stick your foot in there and you'd be fine. So basically inside it's 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 pretty simple. The legs started getting to me at this point when I was building the interior. So I kind of just made it super simple. Um, it, it's supposed to be kind of universal. Like you could you could use it for anything uh, vehicle. So you can just outfit it to your own purposes. So this is a bit the the base form. Of course black and white because because I'm me. Um, so yeah, driver's seat, I'm sorry about the lag, by the way. Uh, this is going to be like a little passenger seat thing. I thought I had a chair there, but I apparently don't right now. Uh, th there's only one version of this, and that's this one, of course. So you can see, we have the fuel tanks. I'm going to empty this inventory slot. Hold on. Okay, so we have these fuel tanks with actual fuel. I want to do this like fuel filters or whatever. You can check the oil, the, the, the way the oil is, is uh, filtering and stuff like that. And you got these tubes that are going to either one... I think I just got a notification there. I don't know what that was, but um, but uh, they 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 all go to a specific place, like as if the thing were actually functioning. I'm sure there's stuff I'm forgetting, but uh, I wanted to do the best I could to make it as realistic as possible. And you see, we got these little gates here to to look like it's protecting you from something or or uh, you know all that goofy stuff. Oh yes, this door here is really cool. I got to show you that when we get to, back to that. And this is the second floor. So on floor two, we have access to the roof, and this is the medical bay right here. The air conditioning on and all that goofy stuff. You can get to the very top, but there's nothing up there. Um, and 
I think this was... Yeah, okay, so that's where you refuel it. That's right. That's what those pipes are leading to. Both of them lead... I think both pipes connect on the, in the center, right about here, and and uh, connect on this one. It looks like that's where you can refuel it. That's what it was. And as you can see... 